hi guys welcome back to my channel okay really quickly i'm going to show you how i secured down these faux boxwood to the planters that i purchased so these planters came with two pieces i'm going to try to secure the actual boxwood to the planter so that it won't um go anywhere if we have a really bad thunderstorm or something like that so the planters are two pieces it's a small shallow box inside of the tall box and i'm going to take some things that i have here around the house and try to secure them down um the best way i can okay so the very first thing i'm going to do is the boxwood has wire it's made of wire um so i'm going to take some zip ties and zip tie the very first one in between one of the wires and then I'm going to connect as many as I want. You can use as many as you like. I use four for each one. Um, it, it's not necessary to use four. You can get away with just using two of them. But I did use four of them. And I'm connecting each one to the other. So that I can connect it to the next step of securing them to the actual shallow part of the planter. Which are the smaller boxes that's um that's in front of them after that i'm gonna take um a one inch drill bit and drill into the bottom of the planter as you see here so i drilled into the bottom of the planter and this is how i'm going to ensure that um it's going to be held down now i found the toggle i had some toggles left over from um, one of the closets that I did and I'm going to take this toggle and put it in directly to the bottom of it so that that metal gold piece is going to be on this side on the outside of it and I'm going to secure it down by pushing that down I'm also going to get a nail I'm sorry not a nail a, a screw and secure it in and then I'm going to take a zip tie and i'm not going to break off the toggle usually when you use this you're supposed to break it off i'm not going to break it off because i need something to attach to the actual zip ties that i did that i secured to the boxwood so that's what you see me doing now make sure that your zip ties that you actually hear it zips if it doesn't zip that means it's not secure so that's what happened there so i'm securing it to the actual boxwood to the toggle going to screw down the toggle to make sure that it's not going to pop out or anything like that. And from there, you'll see it on the other side because this box is going back into the larger planter. It's no need for me to cut off the nail or any the screw. I'm sorry. I don't know why I keep saying nail. There's no reason to worry about the screw once you screw it in because it's going inside of the larger planter. And there you have it it's secured to the actual planter now i'm going to put in some stones i was going to fill it up with rocks but i didn't feel like carrying any rocks so i found a couple of stones that i had laying around to the side of the gazebo i'm going to put that in i'll probably add more rocks later on but as of right now this planter isn't going anywhere thank you guys for watching this is how i secured my planters for outside have a good day.